Good morning. Welcome to day two. Well, strictly day three, two and a half. Um, we're about 45 minutes out from sunrise. We're just setting off. And uh, there's a little bit of light on the horizon. Uh, there's been a little bit of snow overnight, but I've got my proper woolly hat on today because it was minus, it's supposed to be minus nine last night. So interested to see what uh, it's done for the... Uh, the lockens, particularly in terms of ice patterns, see if we can find any. So I'm going to try and head down there, see if we can get a bit of first light on uh, on Ben A, which we haven't really seen much of so far. Um, yeah, and see if we can find some nice ice patterns or see how the snow's hanging in the trees. So we'll hot foot it down there and I'll show you what it's like when we get there. So the key decision I've got to make this morning is which direction to shoot. Uh, basically, Ben A is down there behind that bank of cloud. Uh, and it looks like it might be just going to pork out of the top of the cloud. Oh, I can just see it actually. Probably difficult to pick up on camera. Try and zoom on that in a minute. But Ben A is just porking out of the top of the cloud, which could be absolute class. And then you've got the sunrise is down this end. We either shoot towards the sunrise, in which case I could include some of these pine trees, or we shoot this way. And you can just see them now, Ben A. I'll try and zoom in on this in a second when I finish talking because I can't, can't zoom in in this mode, unfortunately. But you can just see the mountain behind with a bit of mist. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm in proper yomping mode now. Oh, look at Ben A through there. Oh my God. Beautiful, a little bit of mist swirling around the top of there, look. Jesus, look at that. How nice is that? I'm now at Olympic walking speed to try and get here. You just see a bit of a pink glow coming over the top of the mountain. It's a bit of mist. Just trying to get up here where I know there's a, a good bit of foreground. Oh God, this is not how I meant to start the day. You see how deep the snow is? It's like, I don't know, it's a good 18 inches in places when you get off the beaten track. It's really hard to tell what is bog, because I'm trying to get down there, and what isn't. So the only tip I've come up with is to follow the deer tracks. Because they seem to instinctively know what the dry line is to get down to the river, for uh, get down to the lock for some water. So I'm just following the animal tracks, hoping that they know where they're going. So I've come to use these, I've eventually waded down through thigh thick grass, g -g -g grass Granville. And you see, just starting to kick off pink now on top of the mountain. So I've got a nice bit of foreground now with these grasses. Slight slash of reflections in the water, and then hopefully colour's going to kick off really prominently. So I need to crack on and get some shooting done here because uh, I don't want to miss this.
So, I've just fallen in a massive hole, which I've now dug into a snow suit, um, seat. And I'm just sat looking at this little scene behind me with a tree on the ridge line in heavy snow. There's no light at all. It's really clagged in. I'm just waiting. Tea, biscuits, sandwich. It's about lunchtime. So I'm just going to chill for a bit. Just relax. I've been really hard work wading through all this snow. Um, but uh, yeah, could be worth it if you get a bit of light. At least we've got no problems finding a cup holder. I was just finishing my sandwich and <clears throat> a bit of optimism, perhaps. This is the lock we originally set out to photograph and uh, yeah, it doesn't really work for me really without the mountain behind. Um, it's just a <clears throat> collaboration of trees that are all very similar and none of them really stand out. There's one just on the edge of the lock in here, but again, it's not separate from the background and albeit there is some ice about. Uh, it doesn't really work as a shot for me. <laughs> I'm just done in. This is such hard work getting about here, honestly. I can't exaggerate how difficult it is. It's like thigh deep. It's just so hard getting anywhere. You can't see the paths. You're falling in holes. You're falling over. I'm absolutely jiggered. Uh, we've basically done a... Well, I've done a bit of a walk around this town. I don't really know where I ended up. A couple, oh, wow. Is that, look at that. Mountain just poking out. Oh, at last. Look. Just revealing itself. Sorry about that. I had to dash up and grab a couple of shots, which we've just taken. Just as the mist comes through, with just the top of Ben Air. Just could do with it lighting up now. Look, a little bit of light on the top. Oh, magic. Magic, magic, magic. The last five minutes is for landscape photography summed up. One minute I'm absolutely dead on my feet, the next minute I was literally sprinting around here like a fucking, like a dog doing zoomies. <laughs> literally. The light came, the, 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 the mountain revealed itself, there was a bit of mist. There's these pine trees here, there's the, the tarn, there was a dead tree, there, there was... The... <laughs> I was like literally... While the light was there, dig, 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 dig. If it was like, it's a knockout, I'd have played me bonus card, the jockey, you know, you get like double points. So, definitely, well, I always say this, don't I? Definitely the best shot that I've, from this trip has been from this morning. Either the ones down at the lock in this morning or this shot that I'm about to show you now because... Or one of these shots. I'll, show, I'll talk a few. I'll show you them all. And you can pick a favourite from these. Pick a favourite from these. Hopefully you like these. Um, I can't really do any better than this, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think so, anyway. Look at this now. We've got this beautiful reflection. Water's really still. This massive th thunderstorm or snowstorm over there. There's still quite a bit of light over Ben Air in the distance here. Uh, I've been shooting a bit of this. Some nice bits of foreground. Just shot a couple of shots in infrared. This sky looks amazing. And with these reflections and a bit of a light on the mountain and a bit of snow in the foreground and a bit of this and a bit of that. You know what? It's probably half a decent shot this, so you'll have a look at it now. Yeah, so um, this is probably the last light we're getting here. 
um, and we've had some beautiful light. I've just taken a couple of shots, which I'll put up now. The reflection in the in the loch and with the ice and the mountain in the background, just absolutely beautiful. You know, the dusting of snow on the pines and a lovely way to end the day, really. What a beautiful, beautiful day it's been. We've almost lost the light now, but it's snowing heavy. And I uh, quite like this leading line that goes, uh, where are we at? Down here, this leading line. I'm going to go down and shoot this. A bit of blue sky behind, which is quite nice. A bit of a reflection and a bit of snow. All adds to the atmosphere. Could be quite a nice little shot. I mean, you don't get many days like this as a landscape photographer, very, very few, when you've got amazing conditions and you've got really good light. And um, when I finished the vlog yesterday, I said, you know, we were hoping for the same as yesterday, but with light. And that's exactly what we've had today. And it's been absolutely amazing. Good morning and welcome to day three and we are having serious concerns about being snowed in, trying to get off the estate tomorrow. It's not snowing now, the danger is all the uh, snow blowing off all the trees. Um, there's a bit of breeze getting on, it's just causing these like snow blizzards in the trees as you walk under them. It's, uh, it's quite fun. I mean, look at this little scene here. Oh, God, it's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. How deep it is. It's literally knee deep. There's going to be a major problem getting about today. So we're going to have to make a decision about whether continue ploughing through all this deep snow or whether we, uh, it's supposed to brighten up later this afternoon with some light. So it may be that we uh, head back to the house um, and just wear out a bit better light this afternoon. The light here now is absolutely mind-blowingly good. Nice bits of shade, dark, bit of cloud over the top, snow, trees, what else could you want? This is just absolutely stunning. So I get this little copse of trees here. It's not quite nice. Never in light. We're doing for a shot this thing. Well, the weather gods are determined not to let us get our tea and biscuits. Look at the light now. Back on Ben Air again. Look at this. Oh, beautiful.
Well, the last light's gone now and I'm tracking back towards uh, the accommodation we're stopping in. It's been an epic four days, absolutely epic. What we're gonna do now, um, obviously as I've been going around, I haven't been able to video everything because it's just been, it would have been too much. The stopping all the time to take photographs, um, some of which fit in with the video and some don't. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna put a compilation together at the end of all the shots that have, uh, got me excited over the last four days and I hope you like this combination some of them will be drone shots, some will be infrared shots, some of them will be some of the best shots of the week and uh, if you've liked our content please hit the subscribe button give us a like and a comment which is your favourite image always like to hear that but until next time from an extremely snowy torrid in Scotland farewell my friends <laughs>